and thank you for viewing this 360 staff appraisal um, demonstration video. I've actually redone the video because we've changed such a lot of stuff that it's, it's actually better just to redo the video again. Um, I'll show you what the changes are. Here, this is the document that you'll actually receive. Your company name will already be be uh, placed in here. You won't be able to change that. But what you will be able to change is the name of the staff member that you are um, appraising. So here we've actually I've put his name in as staff member, just so we can see obviously where that pops up. Uh, you put the department, you put financial, I put financial department, and I put a date first of January 2015. That you're obviously able to to fill those in. Um, there are obviously some instructions. As we scroll down, <clears throat> instead of what we used to have, where we only had five categories, what I've got now is we've actually you can put in as many as eight categories, but there are actually 12 categories to choose from. So if you click on the roll and you see, you see there's, there's some extra categories that you can change it to. So you've got 12 categories, but you need to pick eight, <coughs> excuse me, per, uh, per appraisal. So I've already pre-selected these categories, so I've filled in the correct answer, so I don't want to change anything there. And then what's, what you do as well is there are 12 people who can appraise this person. So there are 12 tabs at the bottom there, each for each of those people, and obviously the employee themselves, the, the, their self-evaluation. So all you do is the number one relates to page number one over there. So you just select from a drop-down list, <coughs> supervisor, subordinate, peer or client. And obviously you do that throughout. And then you can put the person's name in there. I've put Mr. Supervisor, Mr. Subordinate, etc. Just so we can, you know, we can see who they are. But you obviously just put their real name in there. If you leave this blank, if the person wants to remain anonymous and leave that blank, then everywhere where it would say Mr. Peer on the sheet, all it's going to do is it's just going to say Peer. Um, <clears throat> it'll just remain anonymous. Here are all of the categories. This is an administration page. Whoever's controlling this document and sending it out to everyone can, can alter them. So what you can actually do is you can come here where all these different categories are. You can change the category name and you can change the questions. So let's just say for argument's sake you wanted to keep communication but you wanted to change one of these questions, you could change a question. As long as it relates to communication, you're fine. If you change communication to a completely different category, then obviously just make sure that your questions all relate to that category. So if these 12 categories aren't the right ones for you and you don't need, say, adaptability, you can take that out and change something else. You can, you can change all of this. Um, but obviously you want to be doing this at the beginning because um, once you've set those questions and you've selected them over there, you don't want to be changing them after that. Then, the first thing for do to do is if the employee to do their self-evaluation. Either what you can do is you can either hide, you can hide these, the rest of these tabs and just leave this one available. Send this document to the employee themselves. Let them fill in the answers and let them send it back to you. Um, and then obviously unhide it. If you want to hide or unhide, you just right click on there. You can see there the hide or unhide options. Um, if you want to, uh, if you want to hide everything, send that one to the person. What you can do when you do hide them is, if you go to review, this one's to unprotect the sheet. You can't do that, but you can protect and unprotect the workbook. So once you've hidden the tabs that you want to hide, protect the workbook, put in a password, confirm the password. Don't lose the password because you can't recover it. Um, and then what you can do is, when you get it back, you can put that. You can go to unprotect workbook, put in the password again, and then you'll be able to actually hide and unhide some more sheets. So you can send one at a time to the people that need to fill in. And alternatively, you can actually just print out these sheets, send them to people, get them to fill it in by hand, and then when they come back, you can just capture the answers. It doesn't take that long. Really what you do, instead of putting the tick in one of these boxes, you just select there, click on it. It'll give you all the different answers. You see there it says strongly agree. If we click there, it says agree, and the, uh, the, cross will, the tick will come into the agree column. So that's how you do that. You scroll down throughout all of the different eight categories that you've selected, answering all of the questions. This is obviously the employee themselves, the self-evaluation. Then you've got a section over here, make yourself overall. This has got nothing to do with all of these scores. All this is is what do you think you are really overall? Outstanding, excellent, good, average, poor, or non-applicable. If any of the questions are non-applicable, non-applicable will eliminate them from the scoring. So if you select non-applicable, it won't show up on the on the score. It won't add that the total in. So obviously you want to have as many without putting in non-applicable as as possible. Here you've got a block where you can fill in what you think your greatest strengths are, greatest weakness, and any other comments that you think will be relevant. Please, it needs to stay within that block in order to fit onto the the report. 
Um, and that is all. That is what you would need to do as the employee. The, obviously, the, the employee that receives it would need to fill in for themselves. As you scroll across here, you'll see all the other names you filled in. Supervisor evaluation for Mr. Supervisor. They do the same thing. As we go on subordinate from Mr. Subordinate. Um, subordinate from Mr. Subordinate and so on and so forth. All the names that we filled in. Now I've gone and taken liberties of filling in all these answers to save some time on the video. But then what you do is when you come to the end it will say unused evaluation. These we just leave all at non-applicable and so on and so forth. And last but not least <coughs> is the appraisal report. This will take all of the data that you've actually got um, throughout all the, all the answers that you filled in. It will give you the company name, obviously the department, um, staff appraisal for staff member, the name will obviously appear there. And as you scroll down, you can see you've got all the different roles. The green is obviously what they've scored, the red what they've still what they what they still got available to score. There are all the scores in figures for each of the different roles out of a possible 200. And as you as you go down, um, what you can actually see here, you can see the average out of five, which then gives you an average rating 3.69 is rounded up to four out of five, which is excellent. Um, uh, overall estimate was given a possible 30 out of 40. That that was the uh, those are the overall ratings that they gave. Not it's not an addition of all the individual ratings. Here you can see we've actually put the numbers on there to show you exactly what's going on. So we can see already that the peers don't really rate this person that highly. Everyone else seems to think that they're that they're good enough, but the peers are saying that they're not quite as good as what everyone else thinks they are. Um, there we've got individual ones. So this would obviously be for the role. That's for productivity and so on and so forth. Um, you'll be able to see all of the different um, scores over there for, for each, each, um, uh, not each individual person, but each individual category of people. So the supervisors together, you can see there, we had two subordinate peers and clients, so they're worth more points. They've got more points to get because there are actually two people in that and not just one. Um, it gives you the average rating. As you scroll down, we see the productivity ratings, same thing. Teamwork ratings, same thing again. Leadership, communication, again the peers rating them very lowly there. As we scroll down, we'll see the learning ratings, all the rest of the adaptab uh, adaptability. Here we've got the employee strengths. All the strengths are all written down one after the other. And you can see there it's Mr. Staff Members, Mr. Supervisors. So you can see exactly who said what. All the strengths together, all the weaknesses together, and the general comments which may be important all together. And then lastly, here's a summary of the ratings. That's the total score given. Obviously, each question is rated from 1 to 5. And the, the each, obviously, the, uh, if you put in, um, uh, yeah, obviously, 1 to 5 would be worth 1 to 5 number of points. So this is the total number of points out of the potential 1,600. That's what they actually scored. And this is the total estimated score. This is when that last question, when it said, what do you est uh, estimate the employee as? Overall, that's a total of that. So you can see that people actually see them as higher than what they're actually rating them, if that makes sense. Um, here what we've got is, this obviously shows what each individual um, type of person is given. So we can see that actually the peers rated them very lowly. Now what I've done here is on this chart, and in fact throughout the rest of it, but mainly on this one, it, it will highlight yellow if someone is well below or well above average. So it gives you the average scores over there, and if someone is, falls below a certain number below the average or a certain number above the average, it actually highlights them up as going and saying, well, this is a bit of a concern. Because as we can see here, this, this peer, Mr. Peer here, could well have actually been jealous of the person and therefore given them a much lower rating. So it highlights up in yellow to say, hang on, they weren't, they weren't anywhere near the average. We need to have a look at this. And then what I would suggest doing as an, empl as an employer is actually getting someone else to review this person or eliminating this person's review from the review because obviously they, they've, they've got some kind of bias against them because they're well different to all of the rest of these. Um, yeah, and that that is all. This, this table here obviously will give all the different name types and then each of the different categories and obviously the score there. So you can look at anything, leadership, um, Mr. Subordinate, as far as leadership, there's the score. So you can actually have a look and see throughout and see what people have rated them as. So this whole document here that we've got here, this whole document will be able to be saved as a PDF um, and then sent out or printed out in order to actually then talk to the employee and actually go through all of this. So this whole thing can, um, th this whole uh, document 
can be purchased as a once-off. You can use the save as function to save as many times as you like. Uh, it means that uh, with a once-off payment, you never have to pay again. And um, as long as Excel still supports this document, you can keep reusing it as often as you like, provided you keep it within the company that it's been registered to. You can use it as often as you want to, make as many copies as you like, or as many appraisals as you want, and it'll just be the once-off fee. Um, thank you very much for watching this. If you've seen this on the website, then there is a link to click on where you can um, uh, either purchase this product or download the PDF brochure. Otherwise, if you found this video on YouTube, please follow the link that will appear shortly to the website where you can get more information. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.